welcome to Intermediate Level English Language Arts. Hi guys, welcome to another lesson for English Language Arts 5. And today our lesson will be about writing the summary of an adventure story. Okay, so what is a summary? A summary or a synopsis is a shorter version of the original story or publication. Okay, now make sure that they have to have the following traits. Number one. They have to include the most important events and details about the event. Okay, are about the story. The most important details. Now, some important details, especially um, details that are not connected to events, right? Some other important details would be about the main character. Who are the main characters? Okay, the time or the period this all took place. The setting, okay, the place where the action occurs. All of these things are also important details which should be found in the summary or in the synopsis. And number three, it does not include the opinions, questions, or observations of the readers. So these are all important traits of a summary. Now, what are you guys going to do? I want you guys to write a summary of an adventure story that you guys have read. Make sure it isn't that long, or if you still remember all of the details of a very long adventure story, then it's fine, okay? Now, what I want you guys to do is read an adventure story. It could be just a very short one. It's fine. And then list down the important details. Make sure that these details would include the beginning of the story, the middle of the story, and at the end of the story. Now, make sure that when you remember them, then list them all down. You would have to make them in paragraph form for your draft. In your draft, you would have to create one to two paragraphs. Yes, only just one to two paragraphs. So please make sure that you would only choose short stories or if you can find a short story, make sure that you would have to only include the most important details. Okay, so you're going to have to give at least one to two paragraphs of all of the important parts of the story in the correct order. Okay, make sure you would have to write at the very beginning, then what happened in the middle, then what happened in the end. Okay, double check your work. Okay, in the revise, double check your work. Make sure that everything is there. You could either add or remove some parts that you wish to change. For the edit, make sure that you check the spelling, the punctuation marks, and other grammatical errors. Now, for your publish. For your publish, you have to write your summary in your notebooks. Now, label it with a summary of an adventure story as the activity title, okay? And the title of the story would be the actual title of the story that you're going to make a summary of. So make sure that you don't make your own. Make sure that you're going to use the title of the story that you're going to write the summary of. Next, after the title, skip one line, then start your paragraph, skip another line, then continue your paragraph. Now for the heading, guys, uh, if you're going to be submitting this in a whole sheet of pad paper, okay, name, then grade level in the section, and then date, and then Ella. But for those of you who are not going to be doing it in a uh, piece of paper, pad paper, you're going to be submitting it in your notebooks, okay, do not anymore include name and the grade level and the section, and then the word Ella. Instead, just the activity title at the very middle, okay, and then the date, okay, and please submit a clear photo of it online. That pretty much ends this uh, topic on writing a summary of an adventure story.